think it's mostly uh, just given um, a scouting report on personnel. You know, what they do is, is what they do on film. I don't think you gain an advantage in, from that respect. But just, uh, and I mean, he confirms everything that we see on tape. It's a great football team. So there's not really much deviation from what you see on tape and what he's told us. But, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, more importantly, you know, Frank, uh, you know, continues to improve and progress. And we want him to play a really good football game. That's the best way he can help us. Any messages to him going into this one? Um, anything extra, I guess? In what sense? Just, I'm sure he's looking forward to it. Um, anything to either motivate him or calm him down or just any kind of coaching. Uh, it's an interesting situation. Not all transfers get to play their first team, their former team. Oh, I got you. Uh, anything motivational for him to say? I have nothing motivational uh, to say to him. Um, our players have the opportunity to play in a big game like this. I think the motivation should always be really high. Um, and to calm him down, you know, he's a mature guy. Um, we always make sure the focus is on what we're doing and how we execute. So, and I think Frank uh, has handled that for the most part pretty well. So all in all, just looking forward to Frank playing his best game. Next, we'll go to Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald. Barry? Hi, Coach. couple of quick things. Are you disclosing a starting quarterback for Saturday? I think you know that answer would be no, Barry. Okay, very good. And also, uh, there have been a couple instances this year, and this is not unusual in college football, where parents of a couple of uh, of your players have made comments about assistant coaches that they should not have made. In instances like that, historically for you, do you approach the parent? Do you approach the player? Do you talk to the coach? Or do you do, you know, not much of anything, just ignore it? Well, I'm not sure. I haven't had a parent um, do that with me. If a parent... Uh is unhappy about uh, something with a player or their situation here at Miami. Um, I mean, I haven't had anybody come up to me with it. If someone, uh, you said, what did you say it was? Yeah, it was uh, parents of two of your players this year on Twitter made disparaging comments about two of your assistants. So I don't know if that type of thing crosses your desk. And when it does, do you go to the the kid and say, or the young man and say, why is your parent doing that? Or do you just ignore that stuff? Well, I'm a parent myself. And uh, I think it's important to teach our our own children to handle stuff like uh, adults in a face-to-face manner. Um, as, a, as it relates to posting on social media, I don't, I was raised very different than anything that would relate to anything such as that. But uh, a parent is very uh, free and welcome to come pick up their son if they're not happy with uh, their playing time here at the University of Miami. And I guess that's my philosophy. Next, we'll go to Adam Lichtenstein from the Sun Sentinel. Adam? Hey, Mario. Um, so, you know, more of your favorite topics is the, on, on injury updates. Like, um, you know, how is Don Chaney looking? You're going to ask me a nice question one of these days. I know it's going to be a positively oriented question. I know it is. Don Chaney has practice and he has practice full. Um, how much he will play? You know, I think we have to let the West of the week play, uh, play out. He has practiced and he has taken reps. Uh, what you have to keep in mind at this time of year, we don't tackle. So that's the one part of his return to play uh, that, that he is missing. Now he has been hit and he's been, you know, there's been collisions and he's done a great job, especially with ball security, which he naturally did. Uh, he's, he's very, very, very close. Medically, he's completely cleared um, just from a... You know, shaking off, knocking off the rust. He's right about there. Jalen will be a game time decision. Um, we're hopeful, you know, that him and Fowler, uh, they continue to progress. Uh, we feel real good about Leonard Taylor. Um, we feel real good about Henry Parrish. Those guys have had uh, consistent, successful practices. And I'm not sure who else you have in mind about asking. Uh, I know, you know, a few defensive linemen, uh, Jared Harris. And Hunt, I think you said it was um, game time, if I remember right, on Monday. For which one? For Jared Harrison Hunt. But he will not play. He will not play. Next, we'll go to David Wilson of the Miami Herald. David? Hey, Mario. Uh, one guy I forgot to ask you about on Monday, I asked uh, Josh about him, uh, Lawrence Seymour, who's gotten a couple starts now for you. Um, mm-hmm. Just uh, what, what have you liked about what you've seen from him? I know he's like – Technically, probably a little bit of an undersized guy, but I know he's always, you know, he's very good high school. Like, it's, he's always been a very highly thought of guy. So, what does he do well uh, that has impressed you so far? 
Well, I think he's taking advantage of the situation. You have four offensive linemen to go down. You know, guys have to continue to step up. And, um, you know, game one for him, his first, uh, his first live action was, was – and he fought through it, you know, and he made some mistakes, but he continued to work on it. And I think, you know, as the weeks go by, you see consistent improvement by him. Uh, he's young, you know, so, so being pushed at the level that we push and grind on the offensive line is very new for him. Uh, he had a great coach in high school, uh, so he's, he's kind of used to that. And, but you see improvement. And you see that pride growing more and more and more. So um, credit to him. You know, he's really trying his best. And we've gotten some really productive play out of him. And we expect him to continue to get better. We'll do a couple more for Coach Cristobal next. Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny? Hey, Coach. A um, couple guys I wanted to ask you about receiver-wise. Uh, one, Colby Young, just his development as the season has gone on. He seems like he's really become a reliable, consistent guy every week. And then, you know, Keyshawn Smith was – a part of this team and a starter, big time starter last year. And he, I guess he hasn't played the last two games. I think, I don't know if that was injury related or, or what deals with him. Well, Colby Young. And I think the last game, you know, he started, he started getting a little bit more involved in the offense. Uh, Colby, we've spoken a ton about him just because he came here late. He, he did what uh, that receiver room really needed. He just got to work. No complaints, no excuses. This went on to work. And as the season went on and guys got nicked up, found a way and an opportunity. And once he got that opportunity, made the most of it, hasn't looked back. So really, really proud of him. Uh, Receiver-wise, as it relates to Keisha and everybody else, we play the guys as they perform. And we're playing the guys that have performed best in practice and have done the right things on and off the field. Next, we'll go to Susan Miller, Dagnan of the Miami Herald. Susan? Hi, Mario. I just I just wanted to make sure that I heard this right. You said that Jalen is the game time decision. Yes, ma'am. Okay, because we talked to him yesterday, and he seemed he seemed good, and he I know he had a great game last game. Oh, you're talking about Jalen Rivers or Jalen Knighton? Oh, J- <laughs> okay. My mind's on Jalen Knighton. Good. That's why I wanted to ask you about him. Jalen Knighton's had a great week of practice. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think his last four weeks is away. I think we should encourage all our sons to be and do, meaning he fumbled early, he got benched, someone else got the reps, you kept working, you got another opportunity, and you did really well. And so here comes another opportunity this week. I think it's uh, I think it's exemplary, you know? And then he's got to prove it again this week. So, uh, and I think that when Miami's really good, that's what competition is supposed to be like, so we really encourage it. Um, in a, in the right kind of way, you know, it should be a welcome thing to be able to compete like that because now we're getting the best version of Jalen Knighton because he chose, he made a conscious decision to work hard as opposed to just grab the ball and go home. You know what I mean? It's yeah. A big thank, difference. thank you. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Coach Cristobal, thank you for your time today and good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much.